Our next story gets us off the streets and onto the river. Anne-Marie Berger took a boat ride on the Mississippi River, but this was hardly a sightseeing cruise. The people on this boat have a job, and they have a message. St. Louis has always been known as a river city. In fact, the city itself is a direct result of the multiple rivers that merge in this region. And up in Grafton, Illinois, off the Great River Road, you'll find the meeting of the Illinois and Mississippi rivers. It was here that we met up with Living Lands and Waters on their second day of a four-day trip on the Mississippi. Living Lands and Waters is a river organization. Um, our main thing that we do is river cleanups. With help from a variety of corporate sponsors, this Moline, Illinois-based group travels up and down big river systems, removing garbage from the waters. The one barge on the port side is, uh, most of that garbage came from a huge cleanup that we just did Saturday in St. Louis. We had about 150 volunteers come out and help us pick up the garbage. That's where a lot of that came from. The other barge is we put all the stuff that we're going to recycle on. Since they began river cleanups in 1998, Living Lands and Waters estimates they have removed more than 3.5 million pounds of trash from rivers in Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, and Indiana and they have found that their work has been effective. In a lot of the stretches of the rivers that we typically work, the river's gotten really clean, and that's awesome. Our dream is to, you know, put ourselves out of a job, but we want to keep the spirit alive and keep people thinking about rivers. So they started hosting what they call Big River Educational Workshops, free of charge, where they create a connection between rivers and the people who live around them. Basically, you know, what we found out is even people that grow up in or near river communities, partly because of that reason, are disconnected to the river. They drive over it every day. It's just always been there, you know. But many of them don't know that much about it. They've never actually been on it in a John boat. And part of what we do that makes us so unique is that we create, not just we're teaching people, but we create an experience. Our goal in four days is to pack as much stuff as we can that has to do with rivers. Their workshop in July began at the confluence of the Missouri and Mississippi rivers. They stopped overnight in Grafton, Illinois and Louisiana, Missouri, and concluded the four-day trip in Saverton near Hannibal. The participants were teachers, some from the St. Louis area. Others came as far as Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We wanted to do summer programs, um, continuing education this summer, and Chris and actually got on the internet and found this program. Um, personally, me, I don't care for science and social studies, so I thought this would be a great way to just kind of throw myself in there and gain, you know, knowledge through the hands-on activities and experiences we would have. 